Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't see you there. Are you interested in learning about the crab stuff? Okay, well, since you're here, let me tell you a little bit about it. So you got this brain. Andrea, I have a question. Yeah. I have this brain that uses cannula, and I didn't know if this cannula was misplaced. Okay. Well, today's your lucky day. I was just about to explain the crab stat to... What's your name? I'm Andrea Van Dynen. And I'm Anissa Benitez. Um, by the way, what's a cannula? So a cannula is used to insert certain fluids or drugs into the rat's brain for later on experiments. Um, so how you use the cryostat is first you have to get a brain that was recently preserved in formal. Once, once you extract the brain of the formalin, you rinse it thoroughly with water and you place it in the matrix where you slice the brain selectively where the cannula was placed, near where the cannula was placed. Then you you get this little tuck and you place a freezing agent, OCT, where you place it in the cryostat so it'll freeze in negative 20 degrees Celsius and once it's finished it should look like this. So then you place the sliced brain to the stage and fasten it. Carefully remove the blade protector and you should be ready to cut. Oh wow, this brain is dramatically different from this one. That explains why they are acting so different. Yeah. Um, but why does it matter where the cannula is placed to begin with? That's enough questions for today. It's really early. There's never enough questions. I guess you're right. Yeah, like I wonder what an abnormally large rat brain looks like.